the coastal bend at our friends. Sun is rising here. In fact, we can see a little bit of the pink sky there in Edinburgh 79 and we actually have clearer skies today than we have the last couple of mornings. No rain for us on the board today. Again, unlike yesterday, but this afternoon we're going to be right back up into the upper 90s. Feels like temperatures up to 110. So far, the National Weather Service has kept us below that heat advisory criteria, so it's not going to be quite as scorching hot as it was this weekend. Um, but feeling like 110 is still pretty toasty to me. 97 for the valley average high. We do see wind gusts today up to 30 to 35 miles per hour. Sunset 818 p.m. Other than the wind, I don't have a lot else to talk about. Might still be a little hazy and it's still going to be a little hot, but we're really just going to see those coastal areas with those higher wind gusts. It looks like around 30 to 35 miles per hour. Overnight 20 to 25 mile per hour wind gusts and this is Friday afternoon to evening. Could see a couple gusty winds as well. Even Adalgo and Roma popping up here with at least 30 mile per hour wind gusts. So not breezy enough for a wind advisory, just like we're not hot enough for a heat advisory, but still windy nonetheless. You'll be able to feel it when you head out. It'll be like a blow dryer. It's not going to feel that refreshing. We'll be sunny this afternoon. Clouds returning overnight. Again, I'm not expecting rain on your Thursday night. Friday morning when you wake up, we'll be feeling pretty similar to how we do right now with temperatures in the upper 70s, low 80s. Friday afternoon will clear up again. It's probably going to be a little bit warmer tomorrow. So far, not sure if we're going to get a heat advisory or not. And then Friday night will be in the upper 80s, so you will not need a jacket as you head out the door. Now, we are in a general thunderstorms category for a severe weather threat tomorrow. We could see a couple of showers or maybe even a thunderstorm squeak through, mainly to the upper valley. And honestly, I hope we get something. Our new drought monitor is going to come out later this morning, so tune back in at 11 a.m. for the update. And remember, our drought monitor is not going to reflect the rain we received yesterday morning and during the overnight hours because it's not going to register until next week. Everything cuts off on a Tuesday. So next week we'll get that rain registered and get a more accurate update, I guess, uh, based on the rain we received earlier this week. But I'll go ahead and tell you, I don't think what we got is going to fix our problem.